the Razor Black Label Power A5 e-scooter review. Let's go over some spec of the scooter. Max rider weight is up to 176 pounds. Max speed is 10 miles per hour. And battery life is up to 40 minutes. 8 inch or 200 millimeter front urethane wheel. Airless rear tire. You have a left side kickstand. The motor is 150 watts. Kick to start. Brushless hub. The fit and finish is excellent. The design is very similar to the Razor A5 scooter. You have rubber grips on the handlebar, one throttle lever, no dash to monitor your battery life or speed, which is very easy to put together. You have a rear fender brake, very similar to the non-electric scooters. There's also a non-slip deck. There's a latch for a foldable neck for easy storage. This is the only color available for the e-scooter all black. On the left side you have a power button and also a charging port right next to it. My size 10 shoe on the deck of the scooter there's about an inch and a half or two inch of space left. Placing both feet on the angle you'll be able to ride the scooter without your feet hanging off. It's very lightweight it doesn't feel too heavy. And the kickstand is very easy to flick out with your feet. And let's take it out for a test ride. Riding on the smooth road, it's very comfortable, not too bumpy. Feels like the speed of the scooter fluctuates from five miles per hour to 10 miles per hour. Depending on the incline, I'll take it over to the skateboard park. Let's see if the scooter can handle a couple of incline. Running over little rocks or sticks, uneven pavement, it doesn't feel too comfortable, but manageable. I see lots of incline on this part of the skateboard park. The scooter probably won't be able to handle it. Plus, I don't want to get in the way of the skateboarder. I'll look for a smaller incline. There's a smaller incline up ahead, and let's see if the scooter can tackle the smaller incline. Wow, very nice classic car. Going up the smaller incline was okay, then it ran out of power. It doesn't seem to be enough power for the little incline. Let's get a better view from the deck cam. Couldn't quite make it up this little incline. Trying on a small hill up ahead. It just ran out of energy. It couldn't make it up to the top. But gliding on flat and smooth surface is very good. For a 150 watt rear hub, it didn't have enough power to make it up the incline. But for the price I paid for the scooter, it's an excellent deal for me. Got it over the holidays when it was on sale for $99. Fit and finish of the scooter is excellent. I'll test it out on this walk path. It's not a very smooth surface. You have dirt, small rocks, and sticks. It's not a comfortable ride on this path, and it doesn't do that well. Let's see if it has enough power to make it up that bridge. It's very bumpy on this dirt surface. Let's see if the Razor A5 e-scooter can make it up this bridge. It's a very small incline. It didn't quite make it. I had to give it a helping kick to make it up this bridge. So how is the Razor A5 Black Label e-scooter? For what it is and the price I paid, I'm very happy with it. For the low budget price, I'm okay with it. It doesn't have a dash. 
You can also adjust the handlebar for the right rider's height. This is a great looking scooter. If you run out of battery, you can always kick the scooter. It doesn't have any problem, but it just doesn't glide as far as the non-electric scooter. Currently, the price listed on Razor's site is about $249. If you can find one when it's on sale, it will be a good deal. The scooter will get you from point A to point B. Going up a hill, you might have to help it a little bit, give it a few kick. Overall, it's a great scooter for the price. It's not too heavy to lift, easy to fold. And thanks for checking out the Razor A5 Black Label e-scooter review and ride. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, press that subscribe button for more videos on games, ride, instant eats, and travel. And I'll see you in the next upload.